Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. We're Moss Charmley. And we present to you how to make a Webtoons comic only using an iPad Pro. And, and let's, let's begin. begin. <laughs> <laughs> the two programs you're going to need are Procreate. Procreate is $10, and this is what we use to draw our comic. The other program is Affinity Designer, which also costs $20. Or you can use Affinity Photo, which also costs $20. In this tutorial, we will be using Affinity Designer. There are three panels that you're going to be needing. The first we call single panel. Its dimensions are proportionate to what Webtoons needs, expanded doubly. Its width is 16,000 by 2,560 pixels and has a 400 DPI. The second one you're going to be needing is called the triple panel which actually takes this single panel and puts it right on top of itself three times. This is the one we use the most when creating our comics and will be used for pasting into the long format, which is the last one. The triple panel's dimensions are actually going to be 1,600 pixels of width, and its height is 7,680 pixels. The DPI is 400 which is perfect because you don't lose resolution uh, when you're sizing it and copying, pasting it to the long format. The long format is just that, incredibly long. Um, its width is 800 pixels, which matches Webtoon's maximum width. Um, its length is 150,000 pixels, and its DPI is 200. It works out really good when you're cutting and pasting and then slicing for the last part of creating your comic. Now we have our pre-built comic already made using the three panels. Mm -hmm. We're going to use, press select and select these two panels. To duplicate. Yeah, exactly. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. So there we go. So in case anything happens to them, you'll have these duplicates too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your originals are always going to be saved, which is very important. And then we're going to select the first one that we duplicated. And we're going to merge these because they're all separate layers. So we're going to go up to the layers. And you can select one of these layers, of course. And then once you do, you can merge down, which is out down at the bottom. Right? You can click that and it'll merge down, or you can use two fingers and pinch all of your layers into one, which will happen. You know, you can do either or. So here we go. It's magic. Right Ta-da! <laughs> exactly. So, and we're going to do the same thing to the other one, but first, we're going to actually name this so we know the difference. So, I'm going to add merged to this canvas, and then we're going to perform the same thing to this panel. So, repeating the next step, so go up to your layers and then you will merge each layer. You could do it again one by one by pressing merge down, or you can pinch with your fingers. Ta da! <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Gotta love Procreate. Yeah. So, go back and rename. Exactly. And there we go. And then we're going to actually take these layers, the first one, and we're going to put it on the long format. We're going to check the long format just to make sure it's actually the right size because Webtoons has that maximum width and height, but this is the one that has the really, really long, you know, format. So it's like the ultra long. So you can, pit, you know, put tons of panels on top of it. So it's the right one. And it's 200 DPI, which is awesome because when you actually take the ones that, you, that are you've made that are 400 and you know they're a different size, it actually perfectly proportions its uh, copy and paste onto the layer, which is really really convenient. So we're going to select this one, and then now we just select and copy it. Boop, <laughs> and then we go back to gallery, go to the long format and then paste your first comic on it. Oh, first we zoom it up so it's easier to see. Yeah. And then paste. Just for the gaps and stuff later, because at the top it can be easy to have a little gap right at the top of it. 
Mm -hmm. We use the actual magnetic tool so that it'll actually just give us that guiding, you know, little ray there, which is really nice. And we're just double checking. Always double check. And then we're going to go back to gallery and do it to the next one. So here you click, click on the next one, copy, go back to gallery. And now you'll be pasting that on the long one. <laughs> there you go. Always make sure it's magnetic and uniform because if you move it, you could tweak it. You don't want to do that. So there we go. No gaps. <laughs> it's really nice. But we're going to actually merge these, all these layers, you know, so that uh, it'll actually just be one whole layer so that when we're ready to share it to InDesign, um, it'll, it'll be really nice and e easier to use, you know. So there we go. That's basically, you know, cutting and pasting onto the long format. You can continue to do this as much as you want. So or as many drawings as you have. And now we're going to share. We're going to share as a Photoshop document or a PSD document. We're going to export it to InDesign. But if it's not in your favorites, you can use the more little button and find it. And it, once you click it, it'll automatically put you put your comic into the program. Yeah, which is really convenient as well. You gotta hit this persona, affinity design, they call these personas. And it's this one on the edge, and this is the slice tool, which is exactly why we're here. And that is the magnet tool. You'll definitely need to click this one. A blue circle will appear around it. And this will help you guide your line for your uh, slicing process. So you click the outer edge of, of your comic outside the box, and you will drag this box and you'll do this manually and you'll do it to fit it right inside. Yeah. And at the top, there's a little blue, you know, sort of box at the top. And you want your comic, you know, slices to not exceed 950 pixels. So when you download them to Webtoons, it's not going to, you know, overwhelm the system. Your megabytes won't be too, too much for it. So, yeah. And it, it's awesome because it just magnetically links all of these little slices together. So so maybe keep it around to 800 and by 950. Yeah. And it works really well. Yeah. So you just do this manually step by step all the way down. Yeah. That comic. little red bar that links in at the top or at the bottom and the top of the one you're doing, it actually is showing that there's no gaps in between the slices. So... Yeah, you know, it's a little arduous, but, you know. But it takes time, but it works really well, and there's no gaps. <laughs> yeah, and it's, you know, it's on an iPad. I mean, you can't beat it, you know. A little bit of time, but definitely worth it in the end. And once you're done with those slices, you will see on the right-hand side, those will be all of your slices individually. So if you click those that three button here, um, and you press, you will end up pressing twice on the right hand side. I'll show you later what it means, but <laughs> mm -hmm. you will, this is something you're going to have to manually do one by one to each slice. Yeah. So you click your first slice, you go to JPEG best quality and 1x standard, and you do that to the next one, each one. Yeah. It definitely just takes a little bit of time, and, and you usually can select in other programs, you know, to do it in, as an all-in-one format change, but, you know, this is the way we figured out how to do it for this specific program. You know, it takes a little bit, a little bit more, you know, manually processing, but it's still, you know, really, really easy to use in the end, so. Now you have to take out, unclick background, so you don't have any background in it. Yeah, it'll add that when you actually go and export it. So you don't want that. So, so we're going to now export all. Mm -hmm. So we're going to click it, and then it's going to tell us some cool stuff. Yeah, so this is where you end up making your own folder for all of your slices. Mm -hmm. So you go to that top right-hand side, and you click that folder button, button with a plus on it, and you create your folder. So just name your folder. Mm -hmm. 
Ours is test, test, and testing, which is unique. It's cute. <laughs> yeah. It was We've made a few to, of these. We've done a lot of this, <laughs> as you can tell, just to troubleshoot it all. Ah, and then you export all, and it will automatically, once you go back and you press repress it again, it will have it. And you find where you put it just to make sure it is, and it's actually going to be inside that folder. And they're all specifically numbered. Now we're going to upload your comic into Webtoons. Select your Safari browser and log in. After you log in, which you're not going to see us log in through magic of editing, you're going to go to the dashboard, which will pop up right below your login name or your username, I should say. And in here, we've done a few tests, of course, to see if it works, but you're going to press create series. Now here you will be able to select your genre on the top part and you can choose so many different ones. Mm -hmm. We selected informative for this specific video. <laughs> and inspirational, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, right. Yeah. And you can uh, put your series title here. And in the summary area, you can write your summary. Anything you like. <laughs> it's yours. Definitely do it. A little long-winded. <laughs> and then your thumbnail. This is your series thumbnail. So you're going to click it. It'll go to browse. And it'll go inside of your iPad. We created a thumbnail that was pre-made, you can do the same, and it will upload it automatically. Press Create Series, and then this is actually your another thumbnail, but this is for your episode. So create an, we created another thumbnail. It'll actually download from there, and then you're actually going to call this your episode. So this is your episode title. So you can call it whatever you like. Now here is the area where you will drag and drop or you can download your slices so go press browse and you can find your folder and you will find your individual slices so you select your each slice separately and it will download all numerically <laughs> if you have more than what we have which we have nine you can continue but definitely be aware of how many megabytes you're going to be using because Webtoons will only allow 20 megabytes. So, you know, but it'll work. It's kind of an arduous process, but definitely worth it. Yeah, one by one. Yeah, you know. So, there we go. You can scroll down, see if you got them all, double check. Make sure you're under that 20 megabytes. Here we go. And you can re write a creator's note. Mm -hmm. again? Anything you want, again. <laughs> yeah, right. It's yours. <laughs> oh, Previewing is really cool. You can preview it on mobile, so you can actually see how the scrolling works, which is a really nice feature that they have. So, yeah, make sure. And as you see, there are no actual gaps or anything. So it uploaded it and sliced it exactly how it needed to be, which is the point. <laughs> so here we go. So you can either publish or save it as a draft. Mm -hmm. We look forward to reading your comic. Yeah. And definitely, you know, never forget what you achieved by doing this. Never take that for granted. You've done something wonderful. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Exactly. You, you know? accomplished something wonderful. Mm -hmm. And never give up on your dreams. Never. <laughs>